Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how I remove the root mealy bugs on my succulents. Here are the signs to know if our plants are infected. First, it turns yellow or pale. Bali naninilaw yung leaves niya, hindi ganun katingkad yung color. Second is no signs of growth. Yung kahit anong lagay mo ng fertilizer, kahit anong care yung gawin mo, walang improvement, hindi siya lumalaki, no new leaves. It's weak and wrinkled, so kahit anong dilid mo, ganun pa rin siya, parang kulobot pa rin, and looks dehydrated. The next sign is it loses its leaves, so nalalagas yung mga dahon niya. As you can see, um, isa to sa mga collection ko, this is where niya Saudi Arabica. So, medyo na nilaw yung isang stem niya. And then, wrinkled siya. So, when I check, kung nakikita niyo, meron siya mga white-white dun sa... Uh, roots niya. Though, yung root system, rest, root system niya is good. Pero meron pa rin mga root midi bugs. As you can see, yung isang stem niya, yellow. And then, yung other stems niya are wrinkled. Tsaka light yung color. It should be dark green. So, hmm. And this is the other kind of aspile. So, insula. This is the example of root mealy bugs. So, you can see, okay naman. Yan na ninilaw siya, diba? So, you can see, okay naman yung roots niya. Pero talaga, hindi maiiwasan na magkaroon yan. And, yun nga. Some of the causes is yung moist and humid weather. So here is the process on how I remove the root mealy bugs on my plant. First, we have to wash it with running water. This is one of the most important part. And if kailangan malayo siya sa clean area kasi ang root mealy bugs ay natatransport by water. So gumagalaw sila uh, the whole uh, lifespan nila. Unlike yung scales na pag mature na is nagstick lang sila sa isang place. As you can see, winawash ko sila with running water pero may bean sa ilalim na sinasali yung tubig para hindi uh, makalat yung water na pinaghugasan kasi most probably andan yung mga mealy bugs. Then, pag puno na siya, pag puno na yung bean, tinatapon ko siya sa malayo. <laughs> sa malayong part, hindi sa part pa rin ng garden. Next step is, prepare ko na yung hot water. Ayan, hot water kung saan dyan ko sila ibababat. But not really hot. Haluan siya ng tap water. Bali, parang titimplahin mo siya. Yung, hindi siya sobrang hot. Di, not boiling, pero yung alam niya na kaya ng plant. Yung ganun. Next step naman is lalagay ko na yung DE. Yan. So, if wala kayong DE, okay lang kahit yung hot water lang siya. Okay lang din. So, since available sa akin yung DE, meron akong DE. So, nilagyan ko na rin. And then, the next one is put the plants. Ayan. Put nyo siya and put nyo sila dyan. Babad for 10 to 15 minutes. So here they are, as you can see, napakalinis na ng roots nila, and then maganda yung root system, diba? 
okay yung roots nila dyan. Then, after 15 minutes, tatanggalin ko na sila sa pagkababad and air dry. This is how I air dry my plants. Nilalagay ko sila sa uh, tray na maraming butas para through and through yung air. Lahat ng parts matutuyo. Okay, so after air drying, ito na sila. Ready for repotting. And, <clears throat> ayan. Ayan yung mga roots nila. So, dry na sila. Totally dry na sila. And, in-air dry ko sila like for a day lang or two. One and a half day. Yung mga ganun. Basta as long as to yung to yun na yung roots nila, that's the time na pwede na silang i-repart. Okay, next thing is, of course, have, we have to use fresh soil, yung clean soil. And then, after that, yung mga pots, hindi siya, gana, hindi siya sobrang laki. So, like, enough lang siya, naka siya yung, at the standard size for them. Okay. So, I think, um, 3 inches lang ang diameter nito, yung pot nito, or yeah, 3 inches, 3 or 2 point something.
So here they are um, after a month or more than a month. So yung flowers na kita nyo is the reference ng magiging flower ng each as color na pinapakita ko. Um, those pictures are care of Sir Alan Kabitin. Sa kanya ko, siya yung seller. Siya, sa kanya ko nabili yung mga collections ko. And if interested po kayo, I'll put the link of his Facebook page kung saan kayo pwede mag-purchase. And sobrang dami yung pagpipilian. Tsaka magaganda pa. Yeah, and so I really like to collect cute stuff. That's why uh, nagustuhan kay Asclepiads kasi maliliit lang yung flowers nila. Sobrang cute. And also yung Stapelias. Mayroon naman malalaki yung flowers nila pero ang gaganda ng pattern. Sobrang unique yung mga pattern nila. Though we call it stinkies kasi literally mabaho yung flower nila because that is the way that they attract their pollinators. Uh, which is yung mga langaw nga. But, it, it's, it's pretty. They are pretty. As they say, prevention is better than cure. So here are the tips on how to prevent root needy bugs. First off is inspect your newly bought plants. Um, kaya, uh, I always suggest na approve yung newly bought plants for overall inspection kasi mahirap na baka mahawa yung ibang plants nyo. The next one is avoid root-bound plants. So, maa-avoid natin to by repotting every 6 months. Maganda rin yun kasi matu-check natin kung may something ba sa roots niya and magbibigyan pa natin ng room for growth yung plants. One of the most important way to prevent the spread of root mealy bugs is to use clean pot and soil. Used pot can be used as long as hinugasan nyo siya na maigi and ibilad siya directly under the sun. That's the natural way uh, to kill most of the pest because of too much heat. Next is isolate infected plant from the premises. As I've said a while ago, uh, yung mga root only bugs, buong lifespan nila, they are moving unlike sa scales na pag mature na, mag-stop na lang siya sa isang place. So, mas mabilis makahawa kasi nga, gumagalaw sila. So, may, pwede silang makapunta sa ibang plants easily. Okay, last is don't let the water from the infected area drain to clean area. Kagaya nga nang sinabi ko, root mealy bugs can be transported by water. So, iwasan natin na umagos dun yung tubig sa clean area galing from the infected area. Kaya yung uh, plant stand na pinagawa namin is parang hagdan type siya. Para yung sa first layer, pag binligan naman siya, diretso na agad siya sa baba. So, hindi niya natatamaan yung mga plants na nasa second layer. So, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get notified whenever I upload it new videos. So thank you so much. Keep safe always and I'll see you on the next videos.